so hi dear leo a very very good evening to you guys this is anjali taro and this is a journal of reading for all the leo sun moon venus rising for uh, for the week of 29th of august till the 4th of september okay and uh, the roles can be reversed also the action can be from your side also and this is a reading for those who are in no contact with each other at all and uh, this reading is valid for every 12 sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign leo so let's start your person that you are no contact with their current feelings for you right now let's see what's happening leo okay we have the ace of cups the chariot and the devil my goodness bottom of the deck is the three of wands there is a third party situation here leo either you or your person is having somebody else also in their life apart from you okay there is a third party situation here definitely now the third party could be a romantic third party it could be family interferences it could be religion it could be money issues it could be toxicity it could be anything it could be addictions it could be sexual addictions but there is a blockage huge blockage in the situation okay so leo your person is feeling like you are having someone else in your life you found your new love you found your true love and they should move on from you uh, at the same time they feel like uh, uh, deep down they still are obsessed with you they still are having care and concern genuine care and concern for you but they feel like you are happy with your life you are having someone else in your life and and they should keep going they should keep moving ahead even though they are obsessively thinking about you even they are still obsessed with you even they still uh, there's a unhealthy kind of attachment from this person side according to them it's unhealthy right according to them it's like uh, they can't stop thinking about you it's not like the, uh, the the feelings are never unhealthy care is never unhealthy right genuine concern and genuine genuine uh, feelings are never unhealthy the attachment is unhealthy they still feel a uh, unhealthy attachment with you even the from inside they feel like they should move on but they can't because they still have that kind of attachment that kind of code attached with you for some of you leos they tried their best to cut the cords they tried their best to like do some kind of spell work to energy work or something like this to get you back in their life but it didn't work out now they genuinely have this fear that this is very unhealthy what should i do mm -hmm. that kind of mixed kind of feelings they are having for this connection between you and them and they definitely feel like you are having somebody else in their life and there is definitely third party situation in the situation that is why they should move on this is what they are feeling i'm not sure what that is what the third party is but they feel like this okay and they see the heart chakra is opening towards you their energies are all about blessings and love towards you but at the same time the attachment that they have with you they cannot let you go they cannot move on from the situation is unhealthy and they are trying to figure out what that problem is what that big obstacle is what the third party kind of situation is and what they can do about it okay this these kind of feelings i am getting from this person side let's see what this person wants from you what are their intentions for the situation between you and them leo we have the three of swords the two of swords and the ace of pentacles bottom of the deck is a queen of swords see the thing is they want clarity proper clarity if you guys are ever going to have a brand new beginning in the situation or not they want to come out of this painful kind of situation and they are not sure whether you are ever going to have a brand new beginning with them or not even if it is just as a friend so all they want to let go of the confusion or to, to let go of the crossroad kind of situation to let go of the pain it's not it's not easy to let go of the painful kind of energies that you both are carrying for uh, because of this situation both of you are hurt both of you are hurt because of this right it's quite painful for both of you especially for you leo i can see that i can feel that but the truth is that this person is also hurt deep uh, somewhere deep down because of whatever happened because of whatever they did might be and they are on the crossroads whether this like brand new beginning is ever going to happen even if it is just as a friend whether this situation is ever going to convert into a stable kind of energy they want the clarity they want the truthfulness and honest and clear clear cut kind of energies in the situation because they are not sure what's happening they are not sure what is going to happen they are not sure how things are going to unfold so all they want is the clarity and proper answers mm -hmm. not from you from the universe from themselves also from their higher self let's see what action is this person going to take toward you leo if any by the 4th of september just give me a second yeah 
we have the two of cups the justice and the queen of swords mm -hmm. bottom of the deck is a queen of swords see i think leo the person that you're waiting on i think that the same person is not coming back to you but love is coming in your life leo very soon if you are completely single and waiting waiting for a true lover or a true soulmate i think it's coming towards you i know it's out of context that i'm telling you whatever i'm telling you but love is coming your way right second thing that this person is going to be in this energy of let me figure out let me do the right thing in the situation and the right thing here is to keep themselves shut because they want you to be the with the one who loves you truly who is going to give you the proper love proper soulmate kind of energy and they think that that person is not them so they should let you go so right now this person is just trying to let you go trying to do the right thing here trying to make you meet your soulmate make you meet the true love of your life and remaining uh, detached remaining closed off remaining uh, out of contact only with you as of now they don't want to take any kind of action because they want to do the right thing now and according to them the right thing is to let you go hmm? but love is coming your way right they want to manifest true love in their life individually as well and they are in this energy of if you are their true love if you are the person who is meant for them then you guys uh, are going to meet in the future for for the time being they are like let let leo do whatever they want to do let leo meet whatever whom whomsoever they want to meet and let them be happy so right now this person is sending you all the love all the care all the blessed kind of energy that they can from their side they genuinely wants you to be happy that is a very beautiful energy this is someone who broke your heart into pieces now they are realizing the pain they caused you and now they are uh, like sending you love and healing kind of energies by not saying anything to you by remaining detached and out of contact with you who heavy <laughs> let's see what is the guidance for you guys leo in the situation Yeah, the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Six of Pentacles. You have to be very, very clear, Leo, exactly what you want in your life, especially in your love and relationship area. You want to, you want to have that balanced kind of approach, balanced kind of energy within yourself about reg regarding manifestation. Okay. So if you are unclear about the manifestations, if you are unclear about uh, your wants and desires, how you are going to get it? Tell me. One day you are wanting something else. Another day you are wanting something else, and then you are blaming the universe that why the universe is giving you this kind of hard time because you yourself is not sure what do you want. So you have to be very, very clear, very clear in your mind and in your heart and soul about what you really want to manifest. Then that, with that clear kind, cut kind of approach, stick to that approach, stick to that kind of want and desire, and work on that. Then use all the. techniques of the universe <laughs> i have stopped uh, like uh, any kind of technique i do hope on upon only that is the best technique to manifest anything mm -hmm. so because hope on upon only lets you do it it's like whatever is meant for you will start coming to you naturally it's that powerful you will you will, you will not have the desire of manifesting anything or anyone it will be like naturally you will be in this energy of being content and being in the present moment and whatever is happening is happening for your highest good kind of energy that is the powerful kind of manifestation you can do in anything for or for anything right i'll uh, soon um, uh, upload a video for that and uh, i am uh, taking a hope on upon a workshop as well it's going to be a physical workshop in mumbai in now on uh, in november month let's see how it goes yeah so god bless you namaste bye bye